Welcome back guys, you are absolutely not prepared for this build. I've been hunting the Nemean lions, hitting them for over 12 million damage. I've been hunting tiny little bears, hitting them with 17 million damage and even hitting some mercenaries with a juicy 20 million damage. But that is nothing compared to hitting poor Spartans with over 25 million damage with my shots. The times when we thought with the big hand bow the best warrior build is also the best hunter build are absolutely over and we were so much wrong about it. This build will have 465% headshot damage even sacrificing a little bit of your warrior damage in the process but that will make you a much much better hunter player and you don't even need the warrior damage anyway. And of course this build is still rocking 95% crit chance and 650% critical damage and since critical damage and headshot damage are added together that means you will be getting a 1100% damage multiplier. But that wasn't enough for me. I also used the Chronos Time Warp which gives me 125% additional headshot damage for every consecutive headshot I make. And that also starts on the first headshot I make. And to get all these crazy numbers for your headshot damage we have to get more sickness from Corfu Island. In the pirate warehouse on the city on Corfu Island there is a second side legendary bow which unlocks a 200% headshot damage engraving but it reduces your warrior and assassin damage by 100%. This engraving will actually give you a positive return when you make headshots even though it reduces your warrior damage getting 200% for your multiplier gives you more damage than losing 100% on your base damage. So we will use all the combined core through sickness with 100% all damage, minus 100% resistances and 300% headshot damage in total which will give us 465%. And of course you can still use a full heal glitch when you use 10% on adrenaline spend together with the increased adrenaline consumption this will give you 20% and will be more than enough to always heal your character. Of course you could also just pull out the torch and heal yourself when you are playing with the fox engraving but you can't always do that and using second wind is just so much faster and a much easier solution. But now let's finally check out the damage values. This build was kind of mandatory to be done with spares and that has to do with engraving positions. With the light attack we will get over 2.2 million damage and with the heavy attack we will get over 3.3 million damage. The charged heavy attack was over 7.1 million damage, Wing of Chaos was over 5 million damage and Fury of the Bloodline still hitting over 18 million damage. So this build is far from being a bad warrior build but it is absolutely optimized for the highest hunter damage with normal arrows hitting over 6 million damage, multi shot hitting over 8 to 9 million damage, ghost arrows almost scratching on 14 million damage, devastating shot 16.5 and with predator shot you will even get over 21 million damage. This is the absolute best ultimate hunter build you can make in this game and all the other damages are still enough to one shot every mercenary or even overrun every mercenary just with a normal assassination. You will still have no problem to do that, your assassin damage is high enough, your warrior damage is still high enough but you get a massive massive boost on all your hunter skills and that is what all your hunter players would probably love about this build. If you are new to Assassin's Creed Odyssey or if you want to support this channel check out the YouTube or Patreon memberships, join our Discord server that would be greatly appreciated. Special thanks to my super fans Shana and James Carroll and all the other members and Patreons for supporting me so long. But now let's finally check out the build guys and this build is really complex and really different than anything I've ever done before. We have 266,000 warrior damage, 652,000 assassin damage combined with 650% critical damage that is more than enough to overrun a normal assassinate every mercenary even on nightmare. Of course the big combo will amplify all the warrior damage here as well adding all the 6495 dps to our left melee weapon making it 266,000 on the left weapon and this value is also used for our hunter damage. Now when we check out the big hunt bow we are going to use a plus 200% headshot damage but minus 100% warrior and assassin damage. That means we actually reduce the warrior damage but we increase our headshot damage multiplier. Since we also use the warrior damage for shooting arrows we have to really carefully calculate what's going on here. Because 266,000 warrior damage multiplied with a higher headshot damage multiplier will give us 3.2 million damage before we add any of our abilities and a higher warrior damage 
damage without the high headshot multiplier will give us only 3.1 million damage before adding any ability. So the 266,000 warrior damage with the higher headshot damage multiplier will give us more damage as long as we make headshots. And we can even get more damage by using Kronos time shift. This should be calculated very carefully for every build, because it might look totally different in other builds. On the melee weapons we then had to place all our standard 3 engravings, which are the hunter damage conversion, armor penetration and the fox engraving. And there are only 3 weapons which would allow to have 3 of these engravings on 2 weapons. So one of these weapons must have one of these engravings on itself already. So we could of course use the Fox of Olympus, but that weapon has an adrenaline engraving, so it is the worst option. We could have used the Atlantean blade, which has armor penetration already on it, but it only has critical damage. But the Isoforged Hunter Spare already has damage spares. And that will give us the best option and the most damage, because we already have a damage spares engraving, we have the Convert Hunter damage, and here we can engrave additional armor penetration. So if you are missing this specific spare, you can of course also use the Assassin Conversion spare or use the Atlantean Blade and make this a complete dagger build with maximum dagger damage. And on the other melee weapon slot we can just use another perfect epic warrior spare with warrior damage, damage spares and critical damage and we can just place the 100% damage but health cap to 25% on it. And on the big hand bow of course we have the plus 200% headshot damage which can only be placed on the bow. In order to get this 200% headshot engraving you have to loot the second side legendary bow from Corfu Island from the pirate warehouse. On the helmet then we have warrior damage, 20% chance while full health, 50% critical damage and here was literally the only place to reasonable engrave 100% headshot damage but increased adrenaline consumption. Because on every other piece we rather have critical damage, critical chance or even another legendary engraving for it. So if you want to do the dagger version with the Atlantean blade then you have to move this engraving to the boots instead. To get the headshot engraving you have to collect the Ostraka from the bandit camp on Corfu Island and then collect the solution in Ayenos village from the pot. To get our 100% crit chance for this build we also had to use the stolen isobracers and we will engrave 100% critical damage on top of it. Then we will go for a random epic wasteband with warrior damage, 10% crit chance and 100% critical damage and here we can either use the Nemean lion set bonus with 5% crit chance while full health and another 25% critical damage or we go for the belt of the swings that gives us 20% crit chance at full health for a complete 100%. However with the Nemean Lion set bonus you will sacrifice 5% crit chance but you will also get a tiny damage boost from the 25% critical damage. So I wanted to get the highest possible damage but if you want to get 100% crit chance then simply use the belt of the Sphinx. The torso has warrior damage, all damage and critical damage as usual and here we have the space to engrave the plus 100% all damage but minus 100% resistances from the Corfu DLC. Again, you can collect this engraving from Corfu Island, just go to the Collide farm, collect the riddle, then go to the northeast and collect the solution at the docks. This engraving gives you actually 200% to all damage types instead of only the 100%. And with the damage conversion you can make this 300%. The boots have warrior damage, damage spares, damage spares and staffs and 100% critical damage. To achieve the maximum 140% damage spares we had to move the 20% crit chance on our bracers and use the stolen easel bracers for this build. This gives us a total stats of 544% warrior damage, 428% assassin damage and we have a whopping 465% headshot damage, which is just resulting in the overall best hunter build of all time. We have 140% damage spares, the maximum we can get, we have 95% crit chance and 650% critical damage. Again you can make this 100% if you just use the belt of the swings. In the abilities and masteries we start this time with the assassin tree because there is a really valuable hunter ability inside this tree which is the enhanced Kronos time warp which will give you 125% additional headshot damage for every consecutive headshot. So if you use this ability you can actually try and break my damage records with the predator shot. To get an additional 10% damage overnight you should also not forget to get the maximum points into Stealth Master. Then of course you can also go for 3 points on Hero Strike, 3 points on Rush Assassination and Shadow Assassination which will also give you 50% additional critical damage. Then we move on to the Hunter Tree, get 6 cents. This will slow down all your targets by up to 8 seconds and doubling all your Hunter damage during that period. 
unlock the poison and fire arrows and then go for a multi shot, devastating shot and predator shot. From these three abilities predator shot will be the strongest one with 600% damage and devastating shot will be the second strongest with 400% damage. Definitely get art free master for the additional headshot damage and adrenaline refill, invest one point on overpower to unlock the ghost arrows which also break shields and walls and everything you want to. In the warrior tree you can go for the charged heavy attack which unlocks a 360 swing for your spare which is really powerful. Go for gear master for the additional warrior damage and crit chance. Use the flaming attacks if you want to but it is actually only needed to invest one point here to unlock the 40% fire damage from fire mastery. These damages will be added when you shoot fire arrows. Don't forget to get overpower attacks of course the strongest warrior attack. If you have the DLC you can go for Aura's Madness and Fury of the Bloodline. Then of course Ring of Chaos and Second Wind for your healing. You will only need around 160 points to get the following masteries. Spend a couple of points on hunter damage, damage your spares. Get 12 points each on crit chance, critical damage and headshot damage. Spend 12 points on warrior damage, another 12 points on armor penetration. And then use 15 points on critical chance at full health and critical damage at full health. That should be enough to get very close to the damage shown in this video. However, if you have over 400 points, you could go all in on hunter damage, max out damage spares, absolutely max out crit chance, critical damage, headshot damage, all the range and other hunter abilities here of course that give you damage. Then you can spend a couple of points on adrenaline, also the chance to not consume special arrows and you can even further buff your most important abilities such as predator shot and devastating shot. Of course max out warrior damage, then you can max out fire damage and armor penetration. If you want to you can spend a couple of points on damage dealt restored as health. You can also spend a couple of points on damage whenever time is slowed down. Max out critical chance and critical damage at full health and also a couple of adrenaline and of course health gain per adrenaline spend and damage on leads and bosses. This is one of my new favorite builds for 2023. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.